Hi, it's Rob Magan with Paramount Construction. I wanted to show you another uh, example of a process where we have tied up uh, a, a building lot in a prime location in McLean in the Langley High School District. And it was never, this property was never publicly on the market. And it is a, an absolute premier, uh, beautiful lot. And I just want to walk you through how we uh, how we do this. So if you are interested in uh, buying a, a new home or a building lot in McLean, Arlington, Bethesda, Chevy Chase, or Northwest DC, uh, you may want to pay attention to this one. Uh, let me kind of give you a little bit of background on what we do. Um, we are architects and builders and we focus and realtors and developers we focus on building inside the beltway in the best school districts uh in the best uh neighborhoods specifically in arlington we focus on washington and lee and yorktown high schools and in mclean in mclean and langley high schools and then in bethesda bcc walter johnson and walt whitman high schools and we focus on Northwest DC. We're completely different than other builders in that we've never designed or built the same home twice. And every single thing we design, every home we design is designed to fit perfectly on each building lot. So this is a, uh, an, an example of um, how we actually go through the process with our clients in this case, they were looking for uh, specifically McLean, and they wanted to be in the Lingley Cooper Churchill Pyramid. And so what we found, uh, this took a couple months to get this, but we have a very large list of properties that are not publicly available. And uh, some of these take me actually years to acquire. Um, so we took their requirements and they wanted to be in this area in McLean. So this is, let me kind of zoom out a little bit. Um, this is Washington, D.C. over here. And this, this blue line is the Potomac River. So they wanted to be in McLean and they wanted to be kind of close to the Beltway to have easy access. Um, so they focused on this one small area um, right around Balls Hill and Churchill Elementary School, Cooper Middle School, and actually this feeds into Langley High School. So we were just focusing on this one area, and we have um, many properties in this area. We're in the middle of acquiring, or we've already acquired them and or have tied them up uh, with a contract on them. So this is one we just ratified the contract actually today, and it's right here on Carper. So if we zoom in a little bit, uh, this property is, I believe it's this property, it's either this one or this one. Um, I'll show you in a second, but it's a great, actually it's this property right here. It's a 14,000 square foot flat walkout lot. Very, very challenging to find anything uh, in this neighborhood. And uh, I've known the sellers for a couple of years. So it's taken us that long to actually acquire this one. Um, again, not publicly on the market, under the radar, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, and this is how we do it. So when, whenever we're acquiring these, either for us or for a client, we do the same process um, to make sure we take all the risk out of the transaction. And let me walk you through the, the pieces that we actually do uh, before we put any money at risk on any property. We do three steps. We do a feasibility study. We lay out and price a home on the property. And then we do a comparative market analysis. So we know what the fair price should be on the property to in, in order to what we would pay. The feasibility study, we're looking for floodplains, burial grounds, easements, resource protection areas. Uh, we just want to make sure we can build on the property. We want to understand what the zoning is, what the setbacks are. So we do that very quickly. 
and then we lay out and price a custom home on the property. So before we put any money at risk, <clears throat> excuse me, on the property, we know exactly what it's going to cost us. And then the comparative market analysis, we want to study prior or past sales in the neighborhood so we understand what we're going to pay. Sometimes we'll even pay more than the asking price, depending on how hot the property is and uh, how much in demand the property is. So these are the three pieces we do before we put any property uh, under contract, before we put any money at risk on the property. So let me show you this particular property and walk you through. Uh, actually, this, probably, you probably can't see, but this is Kevin, our architect. Kevin's been with us full time for about 16 years, um, just working for us, kind of my secret weapon. So. Kevin creates all the designs uh, on our uh, for everything we do. So the first thing we do is we'll check the setbacks and the zoning. And the property line is this outer dotted and dashed line. And the inner uh, dashed line is the buildable area. Uh, and also, by the way, if you would like to swing by uh, and take a look at our sales model, we... Um, we have it open tomorrow, Ashley, and it is at 5700 Tanglewood Drive. You can swing by. It's in Bethesda. We'll be open from 1 to 4 p.m., and you can swing by and look at lots of plans. You can look at some, uh, pick up a lot, uh, a list of building lots, and you can tour our 6,640 uh, 6, square foot finished Madison model. It's a luxury home. Uh, on a 9,300 square foot lot in downtown Bethesda. So again, I'll be there uh, from one to four tomorrow. So swing by, uh, take a look at some plans. And if you have any questions, I'm happy to answer those questions. And I'll show you how we can help you uh, with a new home or a teardown building lot. Um, so what we first thing we do before we put any money at risk or in this case, for our client, put any money at risk. We're analyzing the zoning and making sure we can build on the property. This is a huge lot. It's actually a walkout lower level. It's a flat lot. It's about 15,000, 14,000 feet. And you can see it's narrower in the front, and then it gets wider in the back. So first thing we do is uh, check the zoning. And uh, these are just notes that we're posting back and forth with our client. And so our client says, thanks, Kevin. The setback looks roomier than I imagined. And Rob, is the existing driveway something that can be changed? And then so Kevin, so uh, just conversations going back and forth about the property. And then Kevin is actually giving another uh, layout where he's flipping the, let's see, what is he doing? It looks like the garage is on the right side on this one. And on this one, it's on the left side. So just reversing the plan and see how it lays out to see what's a better layout. And then Kevin's putting dimensions on the plat to see what the yard, what the remaining yard will be. And then once we have that, we're coming up with an exact price on the, uh, to build the property, to build the new home and very detailed specifications. And we'll come up with an exact price and a concept front elevation We'll have a first floor plan. So in this one, there's a front porch. There's a center hall as you come in. A center hall entrance on the right is a dining room. Uh, there's a butler's pantry and, a, and another pantry right here. And then on the left side is a living room. And you come straight back, and it's a family room with a kitchen and a big breakfast room over here. And then there's a first floor office. And you come through the garage, which is an oversized garage and a very large mudroom. We come up the stairs and there is one, two, three, four bedrooms with a large laundry room and each bedroom has its own bath. And we come up one more set of stairs and there's a third floor on this plan with a, another office space or a bonus room. This is a utility room. We have another heating and cooling unit up here, a full bath and then a, another bedroom up here. And then we come down to the basement level, come down the stairs here. There's a wine room, exercise room, big rec room. Here's the utility room. And then a wet bar here 
with another bat bedroom and a full bathroom and some more storage here. So that is a quick look at how we uh, pick a plan, uh, price the plan, check the zoning. And again, this one, we just wrapped this one up today. It's ratified, never hit the market. And this is in an area where it is pretty challenging to buy anything. And again, this was not publicly on the market. Uh, so if you're in the market for new homes in McLean, Arlington, Bethesda, Chevy Chase, Northwest DC, uh, we have building lots, uh, in many cases, uh, just a block or two to a metro, Bethesda Metro, uh, Medical Center Metro, Tenley Metro, Friendship Heights Metro. Um, let's see, we've got a, a couple lots near the East Falls Church Metro, the West Falls Church Metro, Boston Metro. So uh, somewhere on this page is probably a place you can get a hold of me. And you can also swing by our open house again tomorrow from, from 1 to 4 p.m. at 5700 Tanglewood Drive. <clears throat> Excuse me, I lose my voice. Uh, so before I lose my voice, uh, I'll sign off. I enjoyed making this for you, and I hope to talk to you soon.